Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about recessions and how the IT community is going to be affected. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how would a recession hit the job market or affect the job market for software developers? And the short answer is it would mean most likely that it would become even harder for you to get your first job. The requirements would go up and the only people most likely who's going to be in the safe zone are senior or at least mid-level developers and people with some type of formal, formal education or college degree or something like that. Where other, as a junior developer, it's going to most likely be the only one of the, it's going to be the most feasible option. Let me explain. So you know that I have stated on many occasions, um, we've talked so many times on the channel about boot camps and job guarantee boot camps, being self-taught versus being ed officially educated on, in college, stuff like that. And we always come back to the same thing. At the end of the day, the only thing that matters is how good are you? That is the thing that dictates absolutely everything. It doesn't matter if you have a college degree, if you suck at coding, it doesn't matter if you're self-taught, and if it really, really, really doesn't matter. Except for in one very specific circumstance, and I'm very sorry that uh, that is, for most of you, going to be the first thing that you are hit with, and that is the first job. Your CV is a list or it's, a, it's basically a sales pitch. It's a sales pitch of how good you are, how likely this is. Like you, this is what you use in order to get that first interview or to get in any interview. Can you get people excited about your profile? If you can't, they're not gonna call and they're not gonna call you back. You have to get them excited. And excitement comes from a subjective gut feeling in, for people. It's, it's unfair. It's really, really, really shitty, a really shitty way of measuring, but it is unfortunately the only way we can do it. And it comes in today, it's, uh, it's in a way hard for some people to get through and get a chance to get these first interviews. Be, and the, the, like the requirements are going, are going sky high because there's so many of these people who have a very shallow understanding of programming. They're not really good at programming. I think that my manager tells, told me that Frederick, for we hired two people recently and to get to those two people, we had to interview 250 people. 250 interviews to get two people because the rest of them didn't. And let me, let me just say now, the rest of them didn't even make it past the technical interview. Like we're not talking about, oh, we just didn't like their clothing. They didn't make it technical wise, tech wise. And I want you to know that the tests that we, we are, like, uh, I don't work for Google these days, or uh, I don't work for Google. This is not like some weirdly super advanced tech, tech test that we have. So as you can imagine, there's quite a lot of people who say that they know how to program. And in a recession, or if the, golden age or the job opportunity starts to dry up. Well, that means that you're most likely going to see fewer, a little bit less of this job hopping going on, which means that the companies that have developers today are very likely to keep the best ones. Key thing here now, best ones. They're most likely gonna stay and they're not going to move around as much. And when the availability of jobs, and I mean, I'm of course just projecting here, I'm just basing this on what I feel is fairly logical, a logical <laughs> development of events. Well, if this really good developers have a stable job, because they, the seniors, they're usually, all, they're, they're, they're the ones who are gonna be in demand. That means that the next level, which are gonna be the mid-level developers and so forth, they're now going to have less opportunities. And which basically, which means that there are fewer jobs and more people competing for them. Which means that the people who have a bootcamp level education are gonna have an, I mean, if it's hard today, guys, it's gonna be nigh on impossible to get a job with, with just being self-taught or be having a bootcamp education. 
not because you're not good at what you're doing. It's just that there are now. You, I mean, if you are the, if you are an employer, and you have the pick of, oh, because of res- uh, this market is drying up for when it comes to developer jobs, I have now a pick between a bootcamp level developer. Uh, experienced like few years mid-level type of person and a really really senior person I mean it becomes a smorgasbord Swedish terms make it into the world of uh, of opportunity opportunities for you to fill a specific role it, you have more like the that's the reason why the market is so good in our favor or as the as the programmers today is because there are so many open openings in so many different companies and they just don't have enough people that's why all of like why do you think all these boot camps and like all of this is coming where do you think this is coming from do you, it's not just because some people decided that hey you know what we're going to teach everybody how to code it's because the demand is so massive that the market uh, there's uh, it has cre- the the gap the deficit of the programmers is literally so big that it, it has created an entire industry of educators who are now trying to educate you so that you can take those jobs. That is why you have all these things. That will go away the second these jobs starts to dry up. That I pretty much can guarantee you. But apart from that, it's not going to affect all that much. I mean, there's one th- one thought that, that could be a little bit scary is that usually when people go into a recession or like they're scared they usually start turtling and basically that means that they just try to lock down all their assets they try to cut away waste etc etc the thing that usually goes away the f- first when y- you know things are not going your way is innovation everything that seems frivolous and at the heart and soul of it software engineering is a innovative field it is about innovation you create new things and you build new things and so forth so the we our market is definitely in the risk zone i mean we're not something really 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 stable in terms of where we are positioned within the market within within society i mean a recession hits everything but there are certain areas that hit are hit harder than others and i would say that we're not in the worst risk zone but we would definitely feel that less and fewer and fewer companies are getting more like loans or like there are fewer startups etc etc i'm pretty sure that we would feel it at some uh, at some level at least so what i want you to take away from this is pretty much that if a recession hits the IT community the f- most likely first thing that's going to happen is that the job hopping will not be as frequent which means that there's less openings in less companies like be, there are m- fewer jobs and therefore the really good programmers they usually stay put like the ones that have a long CV and so forth and that means that the remaining jobs are now going to be swarmed by well they are swarmed today but usually it's as i was saying the ratio can be a few hundred really shitty developers to a few good ones a few potential ones and as you can imagine if the quantity of the good developers in yes increases together with all the shitty ones i mean the recruitment process is going to be absolutely horrible it's horrible today like the the it's horrible today and today we have so so many opportunities so you can imagine how horrible it's going to be if there are just a few jobs and everybody's fighting for them then you really have to stand out i mean shit you have to have a cv that really pops if you're even going to get to the interview and most likely the people who are going to be best off are senior developers with a really strong cv mid-level developers with a lot of cool projects stuff like that with some experience at least and i mean the juniors they're in a really shitty position but they um, having the same sort of thing that the mid-level developers have is probably a good thing and a college degree will not hurt you the worst situation would probably be to be completely self-taught without a cv to showcase how good you are and then that's going to be a tricky situation have a great day